Pablo Gunner here for a nerdy fitness vlog. This is going to be a short one because it's a short week for work, so I really only work out on the days that I work, pretty much. I mean, if I can, I'll work it out on my time off, but I had the Santa Fe Comic Con convention, so there was three days where I did not work out. So it was essentially just my Monday and my Friday, but I still did four workouts. And, uh, and I also did not eat that healthy too because of the fact that, you know, I, when I'm, I'm on, on the path, when I'm going to work, I'm good to go. You know, I, I stick to it. I eat healthy and everything like that. But when I'm off, I don't, of course, I only eat when I'm hungry, but you know, whatever. So, uh, anyways, so yeah, so for my first workout, I joined up with this guy from work. I just, it was my first day on swing shift. And so that's what I did is I worked out with this guy and he had already done sit-ups uh, with the medicine ball, 12 pound medicine ball. So he's like, but he's like, I'm doing pull-ups next. He's like, we're gonna do three sets. And so he did three sets. And, uh, and so there was, we did chin-ups, we did, um, just regular pull-ups and then we did wide grip uh, and so we did for the first rep we did eight and then second we did or no 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 ten eight six that's what we did so uh, I was struggling this guy was completely outdoing me and he's like 20 years older than me because I have not done pull-ups in a while and I don't feel like I'm really that great at pull-ups anyways uh, even though I am a skinny guy I mean, I can, I do them decent, you know, uh, but anyway, so yeah, so it, that was a solid workout. I was feeling it. I was feeling it right away. Uh, and then on top of that, and then after that, we did push-ups, and essentially we, because there's so many different kinds of push-ups and that's what he said is like there's so many different kinds of push-ups you can do, you know, you can do wide grip, you can do regular, you can do, uh, you know, military style, you can do diamond, you know, there's one handed, there's uh, one finger you know, uh, or whatever. Now we didn't get that crazy, but so, and he's like, there's also like the spiders or the Spider-Man sort of where like you move, you know, you do like a push up and then you move, you do a push up and then you move. And, you move. Um, and so we did this. So we did a variety, essentially whatever he did, I just copied and we did 20 though. We did 20 of them. So like I said, there was a variety. There was a good variety there of, of regular push ups wide grip push-ups, you know, whatever, like I mentioned. So, uh, and it was tough, and we essentially just did as many as we could until we burnt ourselves out. I mean, it was time-based. He's like, oh, we're gonna do it until this time, and then we're done. So he was finished, but I still had to do my sit-ups, so then I did my sit-ups, same thing, with a medicine ball, and so, you know, there's this there's this thing there, I just put my feet under it and did, uh, did sit-ups, and I did 50 uh, on my first set, and then I did another set, but I did it with side to side, you know, hip to hip, kind of like the Mason twist or whatever. Um, and so that I did that 50 as well. And then I did it and then I did another set, regular 50 sit ups and then another set of the of the twist with the 12 pound medicine ball. And uh, and I didn't feel it right away. But the next day I did feel it. I mean, that night even I like I felt it in my tries. Uh, and my chest and stuff and uh, so I was sore like right away that's what I did for that first workout and uh, and then for that night I honestly I don't even remember what I ate when I got off work because I was so sore I got a uh, like a twisters burrito that's like I think uh, yeah there's shredded chicken potatoes egg um, and that's it just because I was like I need the protein I'm so freaking sore but uh anyways so yeah so I'm, I'm pretty I am pretty sure I did have fish I know I had like some some uh, salmon I'm pretty sure and then you know just like the basic stuff like a cheese stick and stuff like that uh, at night I was like I need to do cardio though because I'm not gonna do more lifting uh, even though legs lifting with legs wouldn't have been a bad idea but I was like I'll run and there was a girl in the treadmill room and I was gonna try to run with her, but she wasn't really running that fast. No offense, you know, you do whatever you want. Um, but I was like, so I just did my own thing. 
I was like, I'm just gonna do my own thing, like see how much I can do in a mile, you know, how fast I can do a mile. I mean, a half a mile and then a mile. And then after that, then I slow it down, you know, try to get that mile and a half and stuff. Um, you know, and then, like I said, I would slow it down each time and stuff. I think I ended up with about, I did about 20 minutes or so. And I think I wanna do, I did about 2.67 miles. Um, so, cause I was just like, you know, I just wanted to go home to the wife, honestly, and, and sleep uh, at that point. So I was like, screw it, I'm not gonna even do the full 30 minutes of, of running, you know? I mean, so, cause I, I do so I stretch and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, and like I said, I just, you know, the regular stuff. I, I got the snack pack, I got the, you know, with the cheese, cheese cubes and then like the nut dried fruit and stuff like that. So uh, that's what I had for that. And then, um, on my Friday when I came back, because I had the con and stuff like that, we we ate good, man, because we went to Buffalo Thunder, and uh, it was good. Uh, I got a chorizo burrito from um, from the Turquoise Trail, but like that chili was way too hot, and they like they I asked for potatoes instead of beans, and then they gave me fries on the side. I'm like, how are you gonna eat? How are you gonna eat a like this like that's that's messed up like that's not that's not a burrito to have one thing in it you know so they were busting my chops and they're like uh you know i bet that would be go well with beans and i was like you know piss off because i'm allergic to beans i'm like the worst latino ever anyways um so yeah so uh yeah and then we had a banana split oh my god it was freaking amazing it was so delicious uh, a little sweet, but not too sweet. Um, yeah. Anyways, the con was fun. And then we came back. Uh, like I said, I came back on my Friday. I worked out with that guy again, and he was doing the treadmill. Uh, so I was like, okay. And he was going kind of slow, honestly. Like, he was, like, going at, he was going, like, 5.6. And I was like, that's not fast enough for me. I'm gonna go do uh, like I'm gonna I gotta do this mile that half mile and then mile you know like within like do the half mile like four minutes on un and under and then do the mile like eight minutes under that's what I try to do so that's what I did and then like cuz I didn't think like we were actually running together because he was going so slow uh, no offense you know do your own thing whatever um, but then he was like all right we're gonna do this and I was like okay so he was like, we're gonna do top speed, we're gonna go like a minute straight. And we would do like eight, eight point five and stuff. And cause I on my last thing I did like 9.0 when I was trying to get my last lap and stuff. And uh anyways, like, and that was really intense. So I was like, I slowed down after that. He we started doing intervals after that. We just started doing intervals where we would like rest for a minute and then we would sprint for a minute rest for a minute we'd sprint for a minute and sometimes he would want to do 9.0 sometimes he wanted to do 8.5 sometimes you do like you know 8.6 like it, it varied just whatever he felt like and I was dying like I was like oh my gosh I should have taken it easy because now I am by I wore myself out you know way too soon and I was dying so this guy he like I ended up having more distance because I ran faster but like I, I like I was dying uh, I was like so red faced. I looked like I got a horrible sunburn. Uh, you know, I just looked so flushed. You know, and uh, so yeah, it, it was, it was that the, he just burnt me out. Um, and I was just like, I was like, you know, when you when you're like that, you just sweat like profusely. It's ridiculous. So, anyways, it was a good run, and I was like, yeah, I better I better stretch because I know I'm gonna be freaking dying. Because I ended up with like, I want to say like almost five miles or something like that i want to say it was like four point it was like over i don't know it was over four miles i think it was over four and a half miles honestly i think it was more like 4.67 or something i keep on throwing that out there but i don't know um because we did about like 35 minutes i think all together something like that and so yeah it, it was ridiculous and i was like oh my god i'm gonna be so sore surprisingly i was not that sore and i i think it's because i stretched that helped a lot uh, and like I said I was just I've, I've been uh, but I so have been because of this a lot of the cardio I've been so freaking hungry I've just been like 
wanting carbs and just eating and eating and eating and eating like crazy. So, and I always will say like after that first day of workout, oh my gosh, I was so sore, but my goodness, I looked amazing. Like my abs looked so freaking good. My V line just looked so stunning. I should have taken pictures. Uh, I don't think I did. And then like, yeah, I, I just, even my chest and like I was so sore, everything, my shoulders, they just looked magnificent. So I was like, man, I need to keep this as part of the workout because I freaking, I look good and I feel good, you know? Like you're sore, you feel good and you look good. That's that's what it's all about right there. So, but anyways, so yeah, I did that run. I would, like I said, I was starving. So I ate like, I was eating like crazy throughout the whole shift, just snacking on like these whole grain bunnies and stuff. And I was freaking starving, ate a lot. I think I ate fish and then I had some stew that my, uh, my mama made me. And so that was freaking heavenly too. Like, oh my God, it was it was like green chili stew, but it was like, it was the perfect amount of heat for me. And it was, oh, it was chicken too. There was chicken chunk. Oh, it was so good. Uh, and it was like little containers, but oh my gosh, I just freaking, it was so fa fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I was just, I was just starving that whole night, just like nonstop eating. But like I said, I, I was, you know, you have to refuel when you do that much, you know, otherwise you're gonna be hurting bad. So anyways, that night I was like, I gotta lift. I gotta lift, you know, I'm gonna do some weights. And so I just joined up with this dude who was doing shoulders and stuff. And he was doing stuff that I'd never even seen before. So I was like, okay, cool. He was doing a little more weight than me, um, which like I said, especially when you're not used to workouts, that's gonna happen. He was about the same build as me. Uh, there was some stuff that we were on par with, like workouts that, in fact, there were some workouts that I do, that, I was, that I've been doing this entire time that he did, and I was able to do more weight than him just because of the fact that I've been doing it for like a month or two, you know? So, so it was good stuff. There was one where he just like, it's almost like you're, it's like a reverse curl sort of, but you're not actually curling it, you're throwing it up. Uh, so, and that was different, that was cool. So, but even after that, I was like, nope, I need to do more. And so I did like, I did more shoulders workouts of my own uh, after that and stuff. So, uh, but I, I don't know, I just, I didn't feel like I did enough still. I didn't do like a full hour, but, um, yeah, I was just like, I don't know what else to do, honestly. Uh, so, but still, it was a solid workout, and then it was my weekend. So, uh, as far as music, like, I haven't really been, like, listening to too much new music. Just been, like, especially with the with the con, we've been just, we just drove every day. So, it was like a road trip. So, I just threw, I just connected my phone, and we just, I just had my phone on random. And that's what we did. So, just, you know, like, a lot of older stuff. And, and the thing is, like me, I have like, I'll have like hardcore, you know, like corn, and then I'll have like some emo stuff, and then I'll have like video game music, you know, and I'll have like theme songs from shows and movies and video games, and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, like just a huge, weird, odd variety, some disco, you know, just random stuff in there. So that's, uh, that's, that's what we did. You know, like, and that's the thing is like, because I haven't been working out on my own, I'm working out with other guys, I haven't been listening to music while I work out. So, you bullshit in between reps and stuff like that, you know. Anyways, uh, so yeah, but for shows I'm still watching, you know, I'm still watching Gifted, which is great. Uh, Marvel's Inhumans keeps getting better. Uh, I feel like there's, oh yeah, Rebels. I watched Rebels, which is really good. I watched the beginning of that, like the first four episodes, which is really awesome really intense and then uh, I also have been watching the show with the wife Mindhunter that is about these guys that are like the behavioral science department for the FBI and so they're interviewing serial killers to like find out what kind of got them to that point like their upbringing and you know see if there's a pattern in these guys and like there's you know and the differences between like random like kind of like random serial killers and then, you know, or like spur of the moment serial killers and then, you know, just like the ones that that are very well organized and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's really interesting and it's, it's fantastic. I find that stuff really fascinating. It's on Netflix. So, or Netflix original. So, 
And, uh, and yeah, and then video game stuff, I've been slowly getting back into Mass Effect, because uh, I love Mass Effect Andromeda, and so I've been playing more of that, and it's really great. I love it. I think it's a phenomenal game. Uh, and then I've also been playing a little bit Samus Metroid Returns, and of course, for, for comics, you just have metal, the metal stuff, which is just brilliant. You know, Green Lantern stuff's always great. Uh, the Mojoverse, the X-Men stuff has been phenomenal. Uh, it's just, it's, it's such greatness. So yeah, that's about it on my end. Like I said, there's also the con and that was a blast. Uh, I wish we could have done more stuff, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's it for me for now. So, uh, I want to know what your favorite sandwich is. I don't know. Um, Lately, I've had some turkey avocado that are really freaking good, but, um, gosh, I'm trying to think, like, I love the sandwiches from Jason's Deli, because they're just loaded. Uh, I love me, like, some corned beef uh, is just heavenly. I'm, I'm, I'm an Irishman, so I love me that corned beef, so, Irish Latino, so, that's, that's, I want to know what, yeah, what yours is. I love pastrami as well like Dion's, that's freaking great, and, and their salad, but anyways, uh, so yes, I want to know what your favorite sandwich is, uh, so yeah, that's it for me for now, stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy, love and peace!